First, a tragedy in Lynn County tonight. Rescuers responded to a call of an ATV rollover around 12.15 this afternoon and found family members performing CPR on two young boys near a creek. Officers did not know how the ATV crashed or who was driving. CBS 2 News reporter Marissa Scott reports. Yeah, it's something I always think about when we come down here. As a mom of two boys, Joan McBurney says she can't imagine the worst happening to her sons. I let my boys know all the time, every time I come down, do not go running out into the water. She believes it's important for parents to keep a close eye on their kids, even in their own backyard. Because it's so easy for them to get excited about something and forget, and they just, they see something and they run, and without thinking, it just takes a split second. She says she doesn't like them getting too close to the water in fear of them being sucked in. But when she found out two boys drowned after an ATV crash in the area, her feelings went out to the family. It touches home because, you know, it could be anybody, anytime. The Lynn County Sheriff's Office confirms that rescuers found family members performing CPR on two boys after they pulled their bodies from a creek. We do know that somehow the ATV ended up in the water. But there are still a lot of questions unanswered. Uh, we need to speak with the family to find out uh, why the boys were there, how long they had been there, when the last time it was that they had contact with anyone else, and exactly how it is that the family was able to, to locate them. The sheriff says they'll continue to investigate the accident so others can learn from this. And McBurney says she will continue to remind her boys about their safety. You have to say it over and over and over all the time until they're rolling their eyes at you, and that's when you know you're doing it right. <laughs> Now, investigators say they aren't releasing the names or ages of the boys until they contact family members and get more details. Covering the corridor in Lynn County, Marissa Scott, CBS 2 News.